Before continuing with the story of the theft at Bangladesh Bank, we need to go back a couple of years and look at a very different type of attack. Um, in looking at the malware that we believe was linked to the Bangladesh Bank attacks, we found a unique bit of code which we were actually able to link back to the Sony Pictures attack. So when the threat intelligence team brought this to me, I was shocked. The attack on Sony Pictures had been unusual enough. We're used to having a very clear distinction in motivation between different attack groups. Government spy, activist disrupt, and organised crime groups steal. We're actually very careful about what we release publicly. A lot of what we do is sensitive and for a number of reasons that means we can't talk about it publicly. Um, we're sometimes working on active cases, in which case releasing too much information might help the threat actors involved. Finally, uh, official and public attribution to certain um, actors or nation states, for example, uh, could be politically sensitive. So um, considering the effect it could have on geopolitics, we tend to keep that information to ourselves. Everyone was shocked. It wasn't what we thought they would be doing next. But then when you look at things from a geopolitical angle, it suddenly makes more sense. They are one of the um, more complex threat actors. They uh, have a lot of tools at their disposal. They have a lot of resources at their disposal. And sometimes they are known to uh, undertake uh, attacks where they are looking to, to damage, uh, whether it's organisations or, or other governments or nation states. They are more overt in what they're doing uh, and uh, certainly when they are, if they are undertaking espionage activities, um, they, they generally aren't as, uh, as, uh, as shy as some other actors are in terms of advertising what they're doing. So I think the fundamental difference between the Bangladeshi bank heist and normal money laundering activity is simply organisation. You know, if you go to um, a company uh, that's set up properly, so you have a area that's generating cash, sales, or, or, or bringing in money, yeah, so, so the cyber attack element of the Bangladeshi bank heist, and then you have an accountancy department invoicing, you have payments and payroll, etc. You have a true organisation set up with a hierarchy, a control infrastructure, and that is something that happens within the true money laundering activity. The Bangladeshi bank heist wasn't set up appropriately, so therefore they had very good ability to actually gain funds funds, but then to exfiltrate that funds properly and manage that process, they didn't. With the attack on Sony Pictures, we were seeing a national group attacking a company just to disrupt them. And now we're seeing apparently the same group carrying out a direct theft or thwart.